Hi, it's Rob from Projector Central, and we are at Infocom 2022 in Las Vegas. And as you can see from the crowd behind me, we're back. Everybody is really excited to be out here, and there's some great new commercial product. I can't wait to show you. Let's go have a look. Okay, so the big news at Epson is actually something very small, and it, it's this projector here. It's the EBPU 2220, the smallest and lightest 20,000 lumen projector to ever hit the market. Uh, it's a, one of our Infocom 2022 Best of Show Award winners, and we've got another one right in here. This is the Pixeline camera, and the Pixeline camera drops right into the projector. It can also be attached directly to Epson's uh, ultra short throw uh, periscope style lenses, as well as attached to any of their other large venue uh, projectors and that camera for $485 uh, associated with their free downloadable software allows all kinds of automated edge blending, color correction and other features. Okay, so I'm here at the Sony booth. Now, there's nothing brand new here at the show, but there's definitely some eye catchers. The first thing is going to be the GTZ 380, their flagship projector, which is now being released with the infrared uh, license already engaged, as well as the 124K license engaged. Uh, and there's some great displays here over the 130 inch. That thing is absolutely lighting up the scene. There's also the, the, uh, the new VPL FHZ uh, 85, which is their latest uh, interchangeable lens, uh, sort of mid-brightness model, 7300 lumens, 8500 center lumens. They've done a little bit of updating on this piece as well compared to some of the other products. There's a new uh, reality text feature that's part of their reality creation processing that really helps sharpen up text. They've got a new ambient light sensor in this too, which is going to help you kind of keep the, keep the light uh, output down in situations where you don't need all the full output helps extend the laser. Okay, so we're at the Elite booth, and I'm showing you here the Presenter Pro CLR2. This is one of our Infocom award winners for the show, best of show. Uh, and what this is is, the, is is Elite's CLR2 material that's very popular for them for ultra short throw and short throw uh, applications. But they've got it here mounted in a portable uh, screen, 103 inches, take it anywhere, collapsible aluminum frame, and uh, just packs up into a bag and take it with you. So that's, that's great. Okay, so we're at the Optima booth. We've got a couple of booth highlights here that include the Z2200. That's their new top-of-the-line 20,000 lumen projector. Uh, they're also talking here at Infocom about their new Optima Management Suite software. Now, that's been around for a little while. That's their fleet, fleet management software, but there's now a new cloud-based version that is being integrated into a lot of the new projectors to be able to uh, manage a, a fleet from anywhere in the world. The big product news, though, that's brand new for the show is this ZU920 TST. Now Optima's had the 720 TST for a while. That is a 7500 lumen projector that has an integrated fixed lens, saves a lot of money. This new version uh, gives you 9800 lumens at $12,999. And uh, among the improvements that they've made is some additional processing power. One of the things that lets you do is stack two projectors like they've done here on a projection mapped three-dimensional surface. That's something that's very difficult to do and yet it's come off perfectly here.
Okay, so we're at the Fuji Film booth. This is the FPZ 6000. Now, if you are a regular Projector Central reader, you probably remember our reviews of the FPZ 5000 and the FPZ 8000. This is now a 6000 lumen version of that projector, and of course, the big feature is this lens right here. It's a triaxle, ultra short throw lens that you can twist and turn into any of 12 different positions. Okay, so we're at Sharp NEC, and there's a couple of new products here. One of them is the new PE506 series. That's a classroom projector that's been upgraded from the prior models. They've basically bumped brightness. But the big news is really associated with the big image right behind me, and that's the PX2201UL. That's their brand new 20,000 lumen projector. It's basically an improvement over the PX2000 model. Bumps lumen output from 19,000 all the way up to 21,500 center lumens. Uh, with 11% less power consumption. Okay, so uh, at the 2021 Infocom, uh, we awarded the ViewSonic LS500 WH. This is a, a 2000 lumen LED projector, so no lamp replacements, uh, same benefit as laser, 30,000 hours. Uh, this projector costs $600 for 2000 ANSI lumens, 3000 LED lumens. At this year's show, we are awarding the LS550 WH, which is a short throw version. They've had a lot of demand for short throw, and it's the same exact uh, light engine, same lumen count, $700. Okay, so I'm at the Strong MDI booth. These guys make uh, some great commercial screens out of Canada. And I am here with what's called the tabloid. This is actually not a traditional screen material. This is an aluminum panel, about one and one eighth inch thick. And they have painted it with an optical coating that allows it to do what it's doing right here in bright light. They have uh, screens that go up to 1.0 gain. You can get four different gains in this. And uh, this is the largest of the sizes, but you can actually get it smaller as well. Very interesting concept for a rigid floating panel. Okay, so we're at the Daylight booth and we're looking at the Sightline screen. This is a brand new screen from, from these guys. They basically took a look at all of their custom orders for custom black drop and realized that they could eliminate 85% of all of their custom orders by eliminating the black drop and putting the screen on 70 inches of aircraft wire. So when it comes down, you get this floating screen effect and you've completely eliminated any need to sign off on custom orders uh, and wait for those to come in. So uh, a lot of people have asked, well, doesn't the screen move around? And the answer is very, very, very minimally. They've had wired screens for years, but this is, it turns out that when you eliminate the black drop, you actually get less movement of the screen in most cases than you do when you actually have the black drop on it. So that's a new sight line. We're at the Nationwide booth, and what you're looking at behind me, I'll tell you about in a moment, but uh, I want to mention that Carbon Black uh, is a screen manufacturer that we actually reported on last year. They have a special uh, nano material that's an, uh, an ALR light rejecting material. It's a very, very unique product. Back on the other side of the booth, we've got the uh, Carbon, uh, Carbon Black Bright material, which is their standard ambient light rejecting material. But over here behind me is the carbon black, uh, is what they call the carbon mesh halo. This is a scrim material that instead of using the standard silver nitrate, which oxidizes over time, uses their special ambient light rejecting process.
We're at the Christie booth. There are three key things that you want to take away from this Infocom show. The first thing is the new Inspire series. This is a one new one DLP uh, projector series. Small chassis, very quiet, fantastic, just day-to-day -day installation projector. New at the show is the 9600 model, 9600 ISO lumens, and uh, they go all the way down to 7600. The other two products fall into the smallest and lightest category. Now, uh, over on the other side of the booth, we've got the uh, 4K25 RGB, the M4K25 RGB. That is basically an update, a laser update to their old M series, very popular lamp models. Uh, it is the smallest and lightest 25,000 lumen discrete RGB projector that you can find. You can use all of your old M series lenses, rigging, and accessories on that. Now, right behind me, you see up there is the Griffin 4K 50 RGB. This is the smallest and lightest 50,000 lumen RGB projector out there. They took their old Griffin 32 series and in the same size box squeezed 50,000 lumens in under 200 pounds. It's a game changer for the rental and staging industry and uh, an amazing addition here. So we're at the Panasonic booth and we've got two key highlights here, both of which are Infocom 2022 award winners. The first is the PTVMZ71. That is the smallest 7,000 lumen projector on the market today. It is 15.4 pounds with, a, with its attached lens. The image behind me is from the PTRQ25, which is the brand new 20,000 lumen projector. It is the smallest 3DLP uh, 4K projector out there right now. Big breakthrough. One of our award-winning Best of Show products here at Infocom is the digital projection eVision 4000 4K UHD. It's a 3000 lumen projector, nice compact chassis suitable for both residential and commercial uh, applications. But really the big draw here at the digital projection booth is the modular satellite system. Now this is a laser projector. Any, you can get anywhere from 20,000 up to 40,000 lumens out of it. It uses a separate laser module that goes into a rack tethered to a satellite head and you can see that the satellite heads can be really really small depending on the lumen output so it's a fantastic way to get big bright pictures into places that you normally can Okay, so we've been hearing a lot at the show about uh, the need for short throw projectors, a lot of it to feed the golf simulation market. This is a brand new projector from LG. I'm not too familiar with it, so I'm just going to read off the card here. It's the, uh, the ProBeam BU53PST. Now, they've already got a 5,000 lumen standard throw version of this projector, but the beauty here is you're talking about about $4,200, uh, $4,300 uh, map price. It's a 5,000 lumen 4K projector, short throw, suitable for golf simulation, and uh, comes with a 0.94 to 1.14 throw ratio. That's going to be out on the market by mid-July and uh, should be a very popular piece for them. So the cool projection map triangle that you see behind me is at the Barco booth, and that's actually being done with three projectors. There's a 40,000 lumen UDX, uh, which is a 3DLP projector, laser phosphor, and then there's two UDM projectors projecting 20,000 lumens each. Uh, same kind of platform, 3DLP, laser phosphor. The other highlight here at the booth is the G62. That's, that's their G6 series. Uh, the G62 is the newest model with 8,000 lumens. Humans. Okay, so that wraps up our 2022 Infocom video coverage. 
We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to our alerts. We'll see you next time.